back in Algonquin Park, Labor Day long weekend. Just a little uh, three day, two nighter. Uh, we're trying out a new access point for us. It's just a Lake Traverse access point. So a little bit further down the road on the Acre Road, past Grand Lake. Um, tonight we're gonna be uh, just making our way up Petawawa to Wagtail Rapids. So we got like six portages, almost no paddling, all portages this morning. Um, we're gonna stay on Wagtail and then we're gonna try a new lake um, tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go to Ustash Lake, supposedly the deepest lake in the park. So hopefully uh, there'll be some good fishing. So with how low the water is, I uh, just walked along the rocks along the side here. You can sort of see Mark's canoe in the distance doing the same. Come along the rocks for about 50 50 meters maybe and then the portage actually starts right here so as I sort of guessed um, it would have been easier for us to just uh, take our canoes off the truck in the parking lot and walk up the road 50 feet because the portage that we're on actually crosses the road so we basically all the walking along the rocks that we did wasn't necessary so it's our first time here so now we know sign. Mark just made his first cast. He's already got a fish on. Oh, lost it at the boat. So Mark's gotten two bites on his first two casts and I've gotten a tangle in my fishing line. That's my first bite. So Mike is get, uh, Mike. Mark is getting bites uh, almost every cast but uh, they keep getting off his hook. I finally hooked up my first one and reaching for the camera, he got off my hook too. Oh, first fish in the boat, a little smallmouth bass. <laughs> my boat was just drifting closer to Mark. I threw out a cast. All of a sudden this huge tug on my rod. I'm like, oh, this is a big bite. As soon as I get it to the surface, it's the smallest fish you've ever seen. Second portage coming up at all. minute paddle and we're up to our next rapids. Oh, there's a portage sign right next to you. It's a hell of a takeout. <laughs> yeah, this is nice, eh? Upflow there, main current, and a little one here. Beautiful spot. First two casts, I've gotten two bites. They keep shaking it off. Looks like Mark's hooked up. You get it? What is it? Oh, Mark's got a trout. First trout of the trip. Another little bass. It was about the same as the first one I caught. So we're just going to stop at this little uh, rocky outcropping here. Right on the side of the falls. And we're going to have some lunch. After lunch, this is uh, basically, the, we're near the beginning of the 550 meter portage. 
and you have two 200, 250 meter portages, and then a 1.5 to finish up the day. All of them are super close together. There's basically no paddling, but it means lots of fishing spots. So we're just gonna fish our way to uh, camp. See the next rapids are right there. There's the entrance to the portage. Throw a few casts at the falls first though. Just did the 275. Uh, just put in the water and the next rapids are right here but each rapid after the next is just getting more and more beautiful. It's Really nice spot here. Tiny bass. Lost it at the boat? Trent? Nope. Oh, it's a fall fish. I think it's the first fall fish of the trip, at least. I don't know if you caught an ace yet, but nope. Well, of course, uh, I wasn't filming, but on this little outcrop here, these little rocks, uh, next to these falls, basically into this little pool here, pretty much you pull out a fish every single cast. I mean, it's only bass and fall fish, uh, but they were okay size, and at least you catch something. Right at the uh, end of this portage next to this big ass rock here, there's a good sized pool and uh, lots of little smallmouth bass. As you're bringing your lure in, there'll usually be three or four fish fighting over the hook. A little smally, not a bad size. This one's one and a half kilometers. Little bass. Just 
So we walk along the the railroad uh, track on the portage. Looks like because on Jeff's maps, that's the side of the river that the portage is on. But it looks like there's portage signs on the other side now. So I don't know if they've added another portage since Jeff's maps was uh, was done. But either way, the portage is end. And it looks like we're still gonna have to either wade up some small rapids or maybe we'll be able to paddle up it. But uh, we actually just kept walking along the railroad line, assuming that there would be another put in on the other side of these, but we couldn't find one. So we're about to find out. I guess you can paddle up. All rocks here. Bunch of fish in a row, but they keep coming up. Oh, big fall fish. Oh, but just barely lift them. sweet spot for fall fish and bass pretty much every cast both of us are oh came off pretty much every cast we're landing on or at least getting the bite if not landing it yeah. another little guy stop fishing because the clouds are moving in so we want to get the camp set up and get some firewood before, uh, before any rain starts. I'm pretty sure it's uh, supposed to rain this evening and uh, all night long so hopefully we'll get things done before it, get, before it gets here. We're at the uh, I think it, was it Wagtail Rapids campsite so we have a little put in up over here. So I've got my hammock right in the front, mark right next to me. I'll put up uh, Edgar's rain tarp. It looks like we got a trail to go to either side of these Rapids. Very nice little spot. So this campsite didn't actually have a grill, so we're uh, forced to cook our steaks directly on the coals. Uh, we got some, Mark made brought some uh, mixed vegetables that we're uh, reheating too. 
and he's got some uh, instant mashed potatoes that are going to uh, go with it all. So, uh, Sunday morning, camp's all cleaned up. Uh, we had a bit of a lazy, slow start today. It's probably 9 30, 10 o'clock now. We're about to set off, but you know, none of our days are huge. It's probably about three, four hours of travel, with all, including all the fishing we're going to do. First cast of the morning, a little, little bass. Again, every time I go for the camera, just get it in the boat and then film it. You know what I mean? That's because you want that. Yeah. Sometimes exactly. Mark just got one. I just got one. Oh, nice size. There we go. That's probably my biggest bass of the trip so far. Good size here, eh? Yeah. That's a nice gray morning, eh? Yeah, it's it's every cast. I think my drag's a little too loose here. So it's not that big a fish. Tiny guy, my drag's definitely too close. It's the one that got away, man. Hell, my drag's not loose at all. There we go. Another bash. Not bad. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, shake yourself off if you can. That's fine. All right, we got to. Uh, we gotta start moving here. We probably spent a good uh, 40 minutes here just because it was bass after bass after bass after bass, and that's fun. We're coming up to the little mini rapid that we paddled up uh, after the 1500 meter portage. Um, so on the other side, like I said, there looks like there's new portages on the right hand side of the river. Uh, we'll at least go read the signs and see what's up, but uh, yeah, we'll, and then we'll decide uh, if we're taking the Railroad again, or if uh, we try the new portage.
nice of the sun to have come out and joined us. It, uh, pretty much rained all night last night from about uh, 8 p.m. I think actually no, it started at 7 p.m. and uh, till about 8 a.m. this morning. So the portage on the right hand side of the river, it's actually just arrows pointing you to go further to the right. Uh, but right now it's low water and uh, we'd have to carry over some rocks just to get to that side of the, of the river. So we're just going to go the same way we came in along these, uh, this uh, via rail road and uh, just come out at the bridge. Decided to uh, troll a little bit on this channel. Got something with some weight on it. gonna hit us while we're on the big portage. They're beautiful. I can't imagine made high water. They must be fucking incredible. Oh this is the portage where we locked all along the shore here. I mean we can go down it while we're paddling because the real portage is over there. Remember we walked along the shore instead of... Uh... Yeah. You're right, yeah. Because I remember getting out going, where the fuck is he? Right. do our portage to Estas Lake. I figured I'd do one more cast for last chance for bass. Cut bass. So we've uh, made it to Estas Lake. Um, so we just got a quick campsite. Haven't really come out into the middle of the lake yet so I can't see see all of it. But so far so good. Uh, the portage was a way easier than I expected. Maybe I made the rap maybe I read the map wrong but I thought there was gonna be a ton of elevation and it was definitely uphill but very gradual over 2.6 kilometers so was was uh, just a long portage so we got our campsite set up on uh, Estes Lake uh, days become absolutely beautiful a little windy but uh, it comes in gusts we were a little worried about this campsite because it looked like it was all rock from uh, from water but we're so worried about being able to put stakes in the ground but uh, it worked out fairly well Mark's on a big tent pad over there. 
my setup's uh, sort of up up the hill a little bit, and we got the uh, rain tarp in the middle near the fire pit. So camp's all squared away. So I can take advantage of the fact that it's not raining yet and uh, explore the lake a little bit. Lake. I just had some resistance, but I don't think there's anything on there. Nope. So our uh, timing weather-wise has been pretty much perfect on this trip. Last night uh, it only started raining after we were done cooking our steaks over the coals. And tonight it's uh, pouring rain out right now had time to get our boats out of the water and you know, get get camp ready and then the rain started. So as always seems to be the way um, last night of the trip and there was no rain all night long until the first crack of light you're starting to th believe that you'll be able to pack away your tarps and everything without having to dry them when you get home and then the rain starts. So we're just uh, packing up now. Uh, today uh, we just got to go back uh, to the truck, so almost no paddling at all today. We got three portages, about uh, four and a half kilometers of portaging, and two tiny little paddles, and that's it. So that's it for this trip. It was uh, really nice trying out a new access point. Uh, it was first time to Traverse Lake, uh, first time this section of the Petawawa, and first time on a stash lake. Uh, all really nice. We had a really good trip. Except for this rain here, we had great weather. Um, especially the timing of the weather was really good. Anyway, that's it. So we're on our last little two minute paddle and then we just have a 660 meter that uh, takes us straight to the truck so that's the end of the trip it's a really good one <laughs>